how y'all gonna make this beautiful wig look like a frontal look first thing first before we even start i didn't even pluck this wig yet y'all because i really want to show y'all how y'all gonna make this four by four closure look like a frontal so first things first you know you gotta pluck you know you gotta pluck so i just need to go ahead and have it all out grab my comb grab your tweezers and you gonna need your your phone, which I am currently running low on, but it's okay because I'm gonna get me some more. And you make sure your closure is pinned down, like pinned down really, really, really good. So like what you gonna do is, you gonna part the hair and you go grab it. Part like a good little string, I mean not a good little string, but a good little part y'all. So let me turn it to the front so y'all can see what I'm doing. So you gonna do like a straight little part. And this gonna be, your first area of where you're going to be plucking it. So y'all, I got this together. And what you want to do is you want to comb the rest of the closure back. Comb the rest of it back. You're going to do three parts now. So what you do to get all the halves from doing all the flyaways, you're going to put some foam on it to lay it down. And you lay that other half backwards. All right, hold on, uh-uh. So that's how you do that. And you get this other half, you lay it down to the front. That's how you do that, that's how you do that. So what you do, so what I always do, I always twist this front part up just to keep it out the way. So when I'm plucking, I don't have all that in the way. Let me move that out the way. Y'all really need to be seeing this wig, how, I, how I'm about to pluck it. You got the wig, and what you do, is you start, you take it, Actually, let me just stand up so I can give y'all a good, a good little, good little tutorial. Turn your head away, girl. You grab it, and you just start plucking backwards. So, and don't stay in one little spot too long. You just gotta pluck all over. So, my, my suggestion is, go all across the hairline for your first. That's what you do. I'm just giving y'all a little tutorial. Cause I'm gonna have to pause this camera, and I'm gonna have to finish plucking. But I'm just giving y'all a little, just a little tutorial. This is the first step of getting this front to look. Especially in that middle part. Cause the middle part be the thickest part. Make sure you get that middle part. So I got this first for the first time. This is the first little row. So that's what you do with the very, the very first row. And what you gonna do is you gonna part it again. Hold on. Let me get this wig back straight. What you gonna do is you gonna part it again. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're gonna do the same thing. Pluck it, all that. And you do that three times. Do three times, so part three different times. And do the plucking, and then you should be done. All right, you guys, so I'm back and I'm done plucking for right now. This wig was a little bit, you know, rough for me to pluck, but I got it together, cause you know your girl gonna make something work. But you guys, let me just show y'all what it looks like. Of course, you can't really tell as of right now because you gonna be able to tell on my head, but you can't really tell as of right now because it's on the mannequin head, and you know I got all these different colors up under here. But you could tell a little bit 
that is plucked. It's plucked to my liking, but I'm about to pluck it some more. Right now I got the wax stick um, on it because I need to hot comb it down, get it flat, flat, so I can actually see what more do I need to pluck on this wig. Cause like I said, it was a little bit, it was giving me a little bit of time over here, but I got it together. But you guys, really to get that frontal look, you really have to pluck your closure wigs. That's how you go really get that frontal look that you are looking for. All right, y'all, so this how the wig looking right now. I know the part kind of crooked and all that, but I'm gonna fix it when it's on my head. But I already went on ahead and flat ironed it because I wanted to flat iron the girl. So now, we about to go ahead and get to the good stuff, which you already know, we about to install this on your girl hair. And this install is gonna be very quick, very super easy, because closures always be easy. And I love doing closure wigs, y'all. So um, first thing first, I need to get my makeup. You guys wanna get you a contour, a contour bra, 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 powder palette, a contour powder palette. And all I'm gonna do is just flip this, Flip this wig inside out. Go on color that lace. Y'all y'all already know these steps. So you just go color, color that lace. I had this palette for a long time. I always get the ones with multiple colors. Cause there's two colors on this palette that I'm wearing. And, and that's these two over here in the back. You can use the powder kind or the um, cream kind. The cream, I heard that the cream kind actually works good. I never tried it before, but I do want that. I do think I want to try the cream the cream contour palette, so I'm gonna try one of these days and I'm gonna tell y'all how that go. But I heard it works just as good as the powder kind. But I use the powder, that's for right now, cause that was, that's what I was first introduced to, so that's what I've been using. But let me go and take my hairs out, and yes y'all, I got fresh braids. Your girl got some fresh braids, like stop playing with me. Let's just go and get this into here. Woo! So we go get this going. So right now looking, it's looking a hot mess. So what we gonna do, this is about where I want it to be, right there, which would be very good. That is not what my middle part gonna be because that's not a middle. Actually, we're not even gonna focus on no part right now. So what I'm gonna do right now is just, I'm just calm all this back and we're gonna do that part last. So after we do that, I already got the lace where I want it to lay at. Yeah, I'm not even gonna glue it down. I'm gonna use my Evan spray. Actually, I need to take this off and go and cut that little piece that I don't be liking. This little edge piece, I do not be liking this little edge piece that's, that's that be on the lace. I mean, that be on the wig. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all, so I got it all together. And what I mean by like There's closures, one. they, Yes, this ain't mine. All right, what I mean by closures being so easy to install because all I have to do is just use my spray. Like I don't even have to use the glue. I can use the glue if I want to, like if I wanted to lay down for a couple days, but I don't, I'm not gonna lay this down for a couple days. But um, I just had this in for a little bit, so what you gonna do is spray that line, wherever you wanna lay that hair at, and then you just tie down. Y'all already know this step. Tie down, cut the lace, you know, get it melted into your skin, and y'all already know how to do this part. I ain't really too much got to tell you, but here we go. Alright y'all, so I have the hair in and I have the lace cut, and as you already see, it's already melting into my skin. Really, really good. Really, really cute. And y'all, this hair is soft. It's I don't know what, like, it's it's so soft, y'all. Like, I'm not having no shedding, no nothing. And it's like super, super soft, y'all. It's super, super soft. And I'm I'm feeling this a little bit, you know. I'm feeling this. I had to change my shirts because that pink shirt was kind of throwing me off. And plus, I had a lot of hair on that shirt. But y'all, right now, I'm just getting it how I want it. Like, I'm just going back over it with the flat ironers, getting it how I want it. Getting it, um, get more into that frontal look. So I'm just flattening iron it out. Like getting it to fit my head. Cause right now it's just fitting into the mannequin head. But I'm getting it to fit my head. So you just take little couple pieces and stuff y'all. 
and you gotta get the part at the top, you gotta get that the flattest out, out of all of them. So we got that going on right there. Getting that down flat, flat, flat. And we gotta do the other side. Other side, flat, flat, flat. The hot comb will get you flat, but you still gotta go over with the flat liners and get it real flat. And now I'm gonna get my hot comb. And what I like to do is I like to hot comb this piece up, hot comb it up, so it's like, have it picking up off your head so all the hair won't just be laying on your head, like pick it up off your head. Don't have it too flat on your head, have it looking like a pretty little, you know, a pretty little off your head look, period. I know right now I look messed up with y'all, y'all go get the concept. Boom, cute. Shout out to Amelia Hair, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all check them out on Instagram. Make sure y'all check them out on YouTube. Check them, check them out on TikTok, all that. Go ahead and check them out, cause this right here, I'm feeling it. That's how you get it. Look, look, look how it's all up into, look how it's all up into that scalp. Perfect. So I need to uh put some makeup and stuff on my edges, and I need to put um some foam on this hair and grab that contour palette. Get this, put some makeup around the edge, so it can blend, blend like your skin, blend like your skin, period. I didn't wanna do no baby hairs, y'all, because with the four by four closures, it don't be really enough room for baby hair, so that's why I didn't do no baby hairs. With the five by five closures, I do baby hairs, but with this one, mm -mm, baby hairs won't go get it, but this one. Put that foam along. Along that hairline. And there you have it. A cute frontal look with a 4x4 closure wig. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Amelia Hair, y'all. If you want this exact same wig, trust me, it's going to be down in the description. You go ahead and click that link in the description. Also, they have other beautiful hair that you would love. So, go and check them out right now, y'all. Comment down below more videos you would like to see. Comment down below if you would like for me to try to do like a baby hair look with the 4x4 closure. Because I feel like I did a good job making it look like a frontal. I feel, I feel like I did a very good job. So y'all tell me, you know, comment down below how y'all like this look, how y'all like this color on me. I feel like this color is very different for me, especially with like just the front. This color, this is very different for me. Y'all just tell me how y'all like it. I rate this a 10. Everything on me a 10, boo-boo. Hey, <laughs> but y'all make sure y'all go check them out. If you want this hair, like I said before, it's in the description. Y'all make sure y'all go check out Rich and Lavish. We're on the road to 100K. Let's go ahead and get there. And yeah, you guys, I'm out.